next we come to cover letters. So the first question that must come in your mind is what is actually a cover letter? So when we are talking about cover letters, these are the letters that are first, that are used as the first introduction to the person whom you may want to hire. So when we are talking about cover letters, these are the coverings of your resume. Its goal should be to make you as memorable as possible because this is the first interaction or the first impression you will have on the employer. And that too definitely in a good way. Why? Because when we are talking about cover letters, this is like breaking the ice with someone. If the impact is not so good, the person would not be readily agreeing to have you on board. The format of your cover letter should match the company and the industry you're applying for. So here, it's very important that you first analyze what kind of an industry are you looking for to work in and what kind of a job role, because you'll have to give that kind of a description in your cover letter. Cover letters should be visually organized and orderly. All information should be in chronological order so that it doesn't look haphazard. You're going to talk about your introduction. You're going to tell how did you get to know about the company? What is it that you like about the industry? Why is it that you would want to apply for the company, etc.? Do not make it too bulky. Do not overload it with information and do not uh, you know, make it feel like it's flattering that you're doing. So the question next that comes up in mind is what needs to be included in this cover letter? First, you need to introduce yourself. And here is a big gig or a big you know, problem that people don't understand how to introduce themselves. It's very vital that you use important illustrations wherein you're talking about all good about yourself, but you're not boasting about yourself here. Next, you need to mention the job or the kind of job you're applying for or looking for. For instance, if I say that I have to look out for a job for a trainer and I have to mention the industry type, I have to mention the job style, etc., that I am looking for. Show that your skills and experience match the skills and experience needed to do the job. Now, when you read a JD, that's a job description, you have to make sure that you're matching your skills with the skills mentioned in that JD. Otherwise, it's going to be a complete mismatch. For instance, they're looking for a software engineer, whereas you're a mechanical engineer, definitely there's no match there. Next, you need to encourage the reader to read your resume. How will you encourage that? only through the text you have on your cover letter. If that's interesting enough for the reader, then only he or she would move on to the next page. Finish with a call to action, wherein you're asking for an interview or a meeting so that when this is fixed, you are able to have a face-to-face -face interaction. How to make your cover letter specific? It's important that this cover letter is very unique and specific. Otherwise, the goal for which it is made would not be achieved. So let's have a few tips on how to make your cover letter specific. The first one says, find out the name of the person who will read your application. It's usually the HR team who does this task, but there might be specific people who would be reading this too. Don't use their first name. Use either Mr. or Miss and their last name instead, because this is a more formal format that we are talking about rather than an informal communication. Find out more about the job. Read through the description that, the, that has been given. You can find out about the company and the job specifications through people in the organization, if you know any, or you can even visit their website to know better details about the company. Find out more about the company. This is very important because each company has its own rules and regulations and not every company works alike. So it becomes all the more important for a person to have a complete look at the company, how it feels, how it looks like, what are the rules, regulations, etc., before you join in. So what needs to be included ideally in a cover letter? So when we want a cover letter to be looking very professional, we need to keep in mind the following points. Your name, 
and your contact details are something which have which are a mandate you have to mention them and you have to make sure that these details are complete your email address should be there your phone number should be there your complete name and address should be there use a professional email address because usually what people do is they mention their email addresses that they have been using ever since ages and usually we people have a tendency of making our email IDs with our nicknames that needs to be avoided include the name of the person you're writing to their position or the name of the company and their contact details all these details would be included in our job description when i'm talking about a job description the person who posts this description or the person who's the contact point in the company, usually his or her details are mentioned. Otherwise, the designation is simply mentioned that you may write it to the HR manager or the recruiter, etc. Thus, you need to include these details in the salutation. The name of the job you're looking for. Maybe one company has a lot many openings. Maybe they're hiring for the HR department, marketing department, IT, sales, etc. So you need to make sure that whatever opening you're applying for, you're mentioning it clearly in your cover letter. A list of your relevant skills. These skills can easily be mapped with whatever your learnings are so far and what is it that you wish to do in future plus what is it that the company requires you to do. A summary of why you're the right person for the job. Here, when we're talking about you being the right person for the job, you will have to prove this through your previous experience or through ex not just experience, but through your work that you have done. Finish by asking the employer to read your resume. That's your call to action at the end, which you need to mention. Otherwise, you can even mention or ask for scheduling an interview. There are a few points that need to be taken care of when we are talking about an entire piece that is your cover letter. Make sure there are no grammatical errors or typing errors. People often overlook these while sending their cover letters, but this should not be overlooked. You do not have to include your whole resume on your cover letter, where you did your schooling from, etc. Every fine tuning details have to be mentioned in your resume, whereas the overall general details have to be mentioned on your cover letter. Do not overuse I. I have been in this field for the last 15 years and I would request you, so on and so forth. Make sure you are making it professional, keep it short, keep it simple. Do not mention your other job applications that you have also applied for XYZ places and you are expecting a call from there as well. It's a big no, no. The reason for the same is that people often tend to think that you are boasting too much about yourself. With this, let's bring the session to a pause. We'd be right back with more such interesting sessions. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.